Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Advanced Functions class. This is 7.1, Equivalent Trigonometric Functions. So we did explore these in class, but I just want to make sure everyone understands them. Um, so there are a lot of different ways to find cofunction identities. Uh, the first way we can use is to look at the graphs. So if you look at the graph of sine x, which is the red function here, and you look at the uh, graph of cos x, which is the blue function, um, we can see if you uh, a few properties that we could use. For example, sine x, uh, if I use sine theta, it's going to repeat itself every 2 pi. So sine theta equals sine theta plus 2 pi. Uh, it also, you know, works in the negative 2 pi, so we could put sine theta equals sine uh, theta minus 2 pi, and so forth, so we could keep on going. Um, cos theta is equal to sine theta plus pi over 2, so if I wanted to use sine this red one and I move it over to the left pi over 2 that becomes cos x um, or we could even use you know um, cos x or cos theta is equal to sine um, theta minus pi o 3 pi over 2 because that's where it starts again right 3 pi over 2 move it over um, to here so or we could do uh, sine x or sine theta is equal to cos theta minus pi over 2 um, or any of these variations using this graph we just shift it back and forth and uh, we can get some we can get some different identities uh, we can also use the quadrant so we know that in quadrant 2 sine is positive right this is using cast so um, if that's true then we know that uh, if we have a related acute angle theta, then we know that sine pi minus theta is equal to positive sine theta because this will be pi minus theta right here. Because this whole thing is pi and then we're subtracting off theta, then we know sine is equal to sine. Uh, if it was in the third quadrant and this is theta, then we'll get, uh, actually I'm just going to use a different color, we're going to get this angle is pi plus theta, and so we know that sine would be negative in that quadrant, so sine pi plus theta is equal to negative sine theta. And uh, if we were in the fourth quadrant, just going to use another color again, and this is going to be theta, the related acute angle. Then all the way around here is going to be 2 pi minus theta, and we know it's going to be negative in that quadrant, quadrant 4. So sine of 2 pi minus theta equals negative sine theta. Um, and we could do the same thing with cos and tan. So cos is negative in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3. That's why you get negative cos and negative cos, and positive in quadrant 4. And tan, of course, is negative in quadrant 2 and 4. So that's why you get negative tans here, and positive in quadrant 3. So that's where we get these... Um, co-function identities. The next way we could do it is using even functions and odd functions. So we know that cos theta is an even function. It looks like, um, it sort of looks like this, right? So you can see that it's even on either side. And remember that the definition of a fu of a even function is f of x is equal to f of negative x, right? So if I rewrite that using cos, cos theta is equal to cos of negative theta. So that's the odd function. Um, and we know that sine theta and tan theta are both uh, odd functions because you know sine looks like this. Um, so and it repeats itself. So you can see that it's the same in the diagonal and tan theta of course uh, looks like it's got uh, it looks kind of like a cubic but it's got um, it's got these asymptotes and it continues onwards you know like this so you can see that it has again odd symmetry because uh, we're mirrored in the diagonal so remember that the definition of odd functions is f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. So that's why sine of negative theta equals negative sine theta, and tan of negative theta equals negative tan theta. And the last way that we could do it is using right angle triangles. Um, if you look at this right angle triangle and we call this theta, then remember that um, sine theta is equal to y over r cos theta is equal to x over r, and tan theta is equal to uh, y over x. 
But if we look at pi over 2 minus theta, this angle right here, uh, remember that we're using, we can also use SOKATOA. SOKATOA. So this is going to be pi over 2 minus theta because uh, the whole thing is pi 180 minus theta minus pi over 2, that's 90. So that ends up being pi over 2 minus theta. Um, and that's why that angle is what it is. So if we look at sine of pi over 2 minus theta, the opposite is x and the hypotenuse is r, so it's x over r, which is the same thing as cos theta. Um, if we look at cos of pi over 2 minus theta, that's equal to y over r, the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which ends up being sine theta. And um, if we look at tan of pi over 2 minus theta, that's equal to x over y, which is 1 over tan theta, or in other words, cotan theta. So, um, and we can reverse that as well, so tan theta is equal to cot pi over 2 minus theta. So those are the rules for those cofunction identities. So basically we use graphs, we use the quadrants, we use even and odd functions, and we use right angle triangles to find these cofunction identities, which we will be using um, to answer some questions. So thanks for watching, hope that cleared everything up, and I will see you soon.